Hi, it's Renee here again with another DIY. Today's DIY is a baby keepsake shoe. Yes, um, today um, we're gonna do a shoe where you can, we're gonna dress it up a little and um, where you can put on your mantle, you could put it on your dresser, um, you know, and put it out for display. If you're anything like me, I like to keep all my grandchildren and children's um, first baby shoes, pacifiers, whatever it is. I, I always keep them. So today we're going to do something with the shoe. Oh boy, here goes the neighbor with the lawnmower. Okay, we're going to try to get through this anyway. Okay, um, the first things um, that you will need is um, some tissue paper or even newspaper. This um, we will use to stuff the shoe. And we have our Craft Smart white paint. Um, we can get this at Dollar Tree in a smaller form, or you can get this at um, your local Michaels. Okay, um, this An An Angelis, I believe it is. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, metallic bronze in color. This paint we will use. Okay, of course, uh, baby shoe. Um, I find that the cloth baby shoes do not work very well with this DIY. So you use something leather or suede, that will work very good. Okay, you have an unfinished piece of, pla um, they call this a plaque, um, an unfinished piece of this, you'll need this. And any good crafter, would use a E6000 glue. I purchased these um, um, paint brushes at my local Dollar Tree. It comes four in a pack. We have a soft cloth that um, we're gonna need and use. And um, instant coffee that we're gonna use, instant coffee. I purchased this one at Dollar Tree and I have these two cups here that um, are nothing but detergent tops. And I use this to put place my paint in. Okay, let's get started with this. The first thing you wanna do is take your shoe. Okay, see how this opens? Okay, we don't want that to open anymore. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place right here, we're gonna place some E6000 glue here to make sure that this doesn't come apart. Now, if you have the type of um, baby shoe that have laces or sneakers that have laces, tie that very tight. And then you're gonna place some um, glue on the laces, on the back of the laces, and you're gonna press that down so that can um, adhere and um, stick on to the shoe so it doesn't come apart, okay? Then what you're gonna do, next what we're going to do is we're gonna take, um, after you glue this down, then we're gonna stuff this. You stuff it with um, your tissue paper or you stuff it with um, newspaper. Just stuff um, stuff like the toe, toe of it to give it some shape. Okay, the next thing, Okay, you're gonna stuff the shoe um, to keep its shape. And you're gonna just stuff newspaper or the, that tissue paper inside of there. Then, once you do that, you um, are going to um, take your coffee. You make your coffee mix up, and once it cools down, make it as um, dark as possible. Um, 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 the black coffee, of course, no sugar and cream. And you're gonna take that and you're gonna take your cloth, once it cools down, and you're gonna dip your cloth in it, and you're just gonna like paint this all around. And once you get it to the color that you want, then you know, you set that aside and you let it dry. And then it comes to this. This is what I got. You also could use a stain paint for this, but um, it takes a long while to dry and it has an odor. What better odor than spell coffee than paint? Okay, then once you do that, you're gonna take this shoe and you're gonna paint the whole entire shoe white. You're gonna even paint this green part in here white. Now, if you choose to leave the bottom where it could be a pop of color, you can leave that 
that color or you can choose to paint the whole entire shoe and just continue and paint until you get the whole entire shoe white and then it comes like this this is how it should look then once this is completely dry i want to say about um an hour to an hour and a half for drying time for the white paint then what you're going to do is you're going to take your metallic brown brown bronze sorry bronze paint and then you're going to pour that in your cup and then you're going to take a paintbrush and then you're going to um, paint this entire shoe um you're going to paint the entire shoe with the bronze in color and once you um you know get the entire shoe you just nice strokes and you paint it around and you just keep painting the color it's just like having a bronze shoe without the course and without the wait time and you know this is just a quick way to dress up your um, little baby shoe and you just keep painting it around and painting it around and the bottom you can paint too but you don't have to worry okay once you um, have got the entire shoe painted um, and um, you let it dry you um, can um, paint the bottom and then you paint the bottom and then you let that dry once all of the shoe is dry it should let me get some of this done um what you could do too is you can let this dry and then you can go back again and any spots you miss you could cover up and you paint inside around the side once you paint the whole entire shoe and it's completely dry what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your shoe and your plaque and you're gonna take the shoe and you're gonna place E6000 all along the bottom of the shoe once it's completely dry you want it completely dry and you place the glue on the bottom of the shoe the entire shoe um, try not to let it seep the glue seep on the sides because then once you place it on your plaque then you'll have oozing glue and you don't want that and you put it on you're going to place the shoe on the plaque and you're going to press down press down inside the shoe and then what you do is you'll put the shoe aside and you're going to put it aside into um about an hour and a half maybe let's give it even two hours and you put it aside everything should be completely dry um sometimes i do it overnight because i um a night bird so i do my projects at night and i leave it overnight and i let it do overnight and then what you should come out with is this this I um, did for my granddaughter, and I put a charm here for her birthstone. And this one I did for my grandson, and I put a, his birthstone right here. So this is um, looks just like a bronze shoe, and um, it's a very nice decorative piece. And you could put it in baby's room, like I said, on the mantel, anywhere in your home to um, dress up your home. So that's today's diy if you like this diy you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe okay thanks see you next time